Sheikh Mohammed. Yeah. You spoke a lot about uh, in your lecture in terms of people posting things on Facebook, etc. Uh, let's say you actually post something on Facebook and your heart finds happiness when people click like. And, and we're not talking about haram things. Let's say you post something good, a nasiha, uh, something, a Quran, verse of the Quran, or anything good. And people, they click like on this. And your heart finds happiness. You actually like that, that people appreciate what you're doing. How can you balance that and keep your, make sure that your, your intention is only for, the Allah, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not for the likes? Wallahi, it's very, very, very difficult. This is what I personally believe. I believe it's very difficult to throw yourself into an oven and not get burnt. You know, this is why I personally believe, and again, I'm saying I personally believe, you know, throwing yourself into this environment of Facebook and, you know, wallahi, the best of people have fallen into the traps of likes and how many dislikes I got. And so that's why I personally avoid it altogether. Right? Personally, wallahi, I avoid it altogether. It is very, very difficult. You know, one, one, wallahi, we do what we do for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. And I'm not saying this as a, you know, I fell into this. I remember the first few times people started posting uh, videos of mine on YouTube. So yeah, in the beginning it was mad. Wow. Oh, did you see this video? And did you see that video? And your heart dances. I won't sit here and act like a hypocrite and say, oh, no, you know what, I don't care. No, it's nice. And then when people tell me, oh, your videos have reached here and your videos have reached there, you feel so good. But then there comes a time where you start seeing dislikes. And then comes a time when you start seeing comments that are against you or comments attacking you or comments saying that. So then this starts to affect you. So, wallahi, you know what? I sat down once with my sheikh and I explained it to him and he gave me a formula. Wallahi, and since that day, I knew exactly where I was. He says to me, ikhlas, when it comes to sincerity, to know, so if you want to measure yourself, how do I measure myself and I know that I have genuine sincerity? He says, if you want to measure and know if you have sincerity, he says, true sincerity is when praise and criticism become equal in your eyes. When praise and criticism become equal in your eyes, this is a sign of someone who has sincerity. Because if I truly did what I did for the pleasure of Allah, then whether you like it or you don't, it was for Allah anyway. I did it for Allah anyway. If you liked it, well, alhamdulillah, this is a gift from Allah. And if you didn't like it, I still get full ajr with Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is sometimes Allah sends you these things as a tarbiyah to keep you in line. So, you know, I believe anyway, very few can master, can really master being sincere and liking likes on Facebook. So if you can, protect yourself from it and don't fall into that. Because many people started off sincere and now it's a game of likes and numbers and how many followers and this will end up destroying your efforts.